afraid to live. You're a hypocrite. You're a conformist. You're a liar. I opened up to you and you judged me. You're an ass. You're an ass. Just get off of me. Get off. You're harassing me. He's harassing me. Jennifer Lawrence in her SAG and Golden Globe winning role in Silver Lining's playbook. She's up for an Oscar in a few weeks and here is uh, uh, Jennifer herself along with David O. Russell. So we left viewers on a cliffhanger because you were a little late and I've forgiven <laughs> but you. But it wasn't my fault. No, I'm not blaming you. Okay. It's just a fact. Uh, oh. But you then rushed in, oh, causing <laughs> complete chaos and I very generously decided to allow it you was... to stay on my set. Okay. Uh, on the pretext okay. that we could then run okay. it And tonight. then we get to say my side later. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then we get the truth. Okay. Well, the cliffhanger we left with you was the brilliant recovery you made from your wardrobe malfunction at the Globes, where it appeared to me, as a casual viewer, that your entire dress was collapsing yeah. as you walked up to get uh -huh. this great award. Tell me what you were thinking as it began to fall apart. It didn't. I, I didn't feel anything, which was actually a lot worse, because then I just had this, like, blank look on my face so I'll look like my entire what is dress is about to fall. Oh, what, what is it that's well, happening? It's <laughs> separate, it's separate. Is it actually ripping watch. or is it just... I can't, no, it's a tiered dress, right. which I didn't understand until I was like, why can I see my thighs? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, that's the design of the dress. So I guess if you put it on somebody with the coordination of my level, that's what's going to happen. What I loved are the pictures there of like Naomi Watts and Nicole Kidman and others just sharing the horror <laughs> as a woman, never mind anything else, of what could have been catastrophic. But you just yeah. dusted yourself down and got yeah, on with it. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> just move on. <laughs> your pants fall off and you just keep going. Well, talking of moving on, let's move on to your career because it is to call it sizzling is to underestimate, I think, the impact you're having now. This is the second Oscar nomination for you. Can you quite believe it? You're 22 years old and this is exploding for you. I know. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I've, I mean, I've, yeah, I've been incredibly blessed. When you were a, a little youngster, what was the dream for you? I had a million dreams. I was going to be a doctor. That was the most, that was my, I'm sorry, you hate it. I keep bumping David in the chair and he's like, it's killing him. Look at him. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing it. I don't think he keep minds. tapping him. No, he does. Um, uh, yeah, I was going to be a doctor, but I basically, I was always putting on shows. I was always, I was like, I would like put on an outfit and go and knock on our front door and be like, my name's Judy and my car just broke down. Can I use your phone? <laughs> so, <it> was, <laughs> so nobody, yeah, so it was like, I was always an actress. We just didn't really realize it until I became an actress. And then we were like, oh, that, that makes sense. Tell me about your family, because I don't know much about you. Um, you sort of suddenly arrived in this blaze of glory. But tell me about your upbringing, your family and what they make of all this. Uh, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. My whole family still lives in Kentucky. And when I wanted to do this when I was 14, my parents weren't going to let me do it. My brothers actually called and said, um, you know, you guys went, you guys followed us through the World Series. You guys have been all over the country with us. And you, you would do this for us if it were sports. And this was her baseball diamond. And you have to let her do it. So it was because of my brothers that I was able to just get the chance. They were going to let me try it for the summer. How do they feel now? Now they're very relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think I could have done anything else. So relieved and proud. David, what does it take to be a great actress? Because that performance in, in your movie is a really great performance, I think, by any yardstick. What does she have, Jennifer, that takes her to that kind of level? Come on, David. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, I think there's a soulfulness that is immediately there. It's, it's, you don't, you're not, you're, it's right there in her eyes and in her face and in her, the way she talks. I don't know how to express it except to point to her performance. I mean, she has a soulfulness that comes from her that, and there's a, I, mean, I don't want to embarrass her or sound. I just think she's, so people, we were concerned she was too young for the role and I said she almost has a timeless quality to her, which I do feel. I feel like sometimes she seems like she's 18, sometimes she seems like she's 40. And not only that, a realness. There's a lack of preciousness. There's not a frame around what she's doing. It's raw and it's real and it's, it comes from part of her soul and, and she just channels it right out there and she's not, she's, she's not afraid to jump in and do it any number of different ways. And she'll tell, she has very good instincts. She'll tell you when she feels something is false and when she'd like to find another way to do it. But it's a great gift to a director to, to, to have an actor who has so much emotion readily available on their face, that's authentic emotion. It's from, it's from her, and it's a part of her. And I hope, I don't, you know, I just don't know how, it's a blessing.
to have someone channel that. And when when he that. calls you and says, right, here is the deal. Uh, you're going to do love scenes with Bradley Cooper and, by the way, Robert De Niro is going to be there to give you acting tips. Mm -hmm. How many seconds does it take to say <laughs> yes to that kind of thing? Um, about half a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 well, I've always wanted to work with David. and He's mm. my favourite director and has been for, for years. Um, and he's no shrinking violet. I mean, you've been very polite and nice with me, but you're known as the kind of enfant terrible of Hollywood. You know, you've fallen out with people, you've feuded with people, you're known as being on the edge, and that gives you, I think, this brilliant edge as a director, but, you know, you're not, you don't suffer <laughs> fools, you're not a shrinking guy, are you? What, me? No. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, go ahead. I can't. I, I can't because David is. We're the same person. Dave, we just. David has this amazing quality. It was like tonight when we were, we were just texting earlier, where I was like, I had to tell him that I was going to be here tonight, and he was like, What are you talking about? I was like, Yeah, I'm going to be on Piers Morgan with you, and his reply was. Ooh, we're gonna be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a, he, his thought process is almost like a child, where it's just so pure and honest, and he's and he's a genius. And he, he just has such a such a pure way of looking at the world and he also is very visual and and is and is brilliant and he can and and he's and he's the sweetest person that I've ever met and the warmest person that I've ever met and, and really? I don't recognize that, no, this from I it's it's file of cutting I've I've never met someone who doesn't deserve a reputation. To be a monster. Well let me, put, let me put it this way. Um, he's my little monster. <laughs> <laughs> My God, this doesn't get any better, does it for you? <laughs> Jennifer's little monster. I, I, let me put it this way. I would characterize some of the, um, some of the uh, unfortunate missteps of the first half of what I would call my career. I feel like I'm in the second. I had a wilderness period that separated the two, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, kind of from Three Queens and then Huckabees and then Peter and this picture as companion volumes. It brought me closer to the characters I'm directing because mm -hmm. I feel, you know, it, if, if characters themselves are struggling and are humbled and are want to be known and want to be respected, I know what that feels like. And they want a third or fourth chance. I know what that feels like myself. And I appreciate it in a very real way. It's not academic or, or distant. It's real. So that's the realness I want to put into these families and that Jennifer brought to life. Jennifer also is an extremely hard worker and, and, and she loves it. So she works so hard and relentless um, and willing to try it any number of ways and, and give you any number of choices. And about dancing, she was not a dancer. The woman was not a dancer. And she getting to know Bradley Cooper that way, I think made them both more vulnerable and open emotionally because they were pressed together and dancing and neither one of them were professional dancers. And so they had a week of being thrown together that way. Let's take a break. Let's come back and talk about the Oscars, about Harvey Weinstein, the rascal, as I believe he is known. <laughs> and also, Jennifer, your penchant for guys with a British accent. Let's just leave it there. I'm back now with Jennifer Lawrence and David O. Russell. Let's talk Oscars. Uh, Harvey Weinstein, who obviously is one of the brains behind this project, is one of the greatest Oscar grabbers I've ever seen. <laughs> Anyone can lead you to glory, it'll be Harvey. He's known as the rascal, I believe. Well, why the rascal? Maybe, Jennifer, you could explain to me why Harvey's a rascal. I don't know. That was just like the only really... It was either that or Nink and Poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I, I, oh, God, what are these pictures? <laughs> if you and no the Nink and Poop. Were, yeah. I love Harvey. I mean, he's been like a, a, a dad, pretty much, to me, a, a Hollywood father. I mean, he's... He's really taken all of us under his wing and just kind of, he, he has a way of just making things happen. And he also stands behind films, films that he believes in. What and I like about him is he just has an absolute love and passion for movies and he Hollywood. Does. And he sort of does it in the old-fashioned way. He throws great parties, he celebrates, he, you know, he wants to win Oscars, he loves yeah. the whole thing. And he, there's no cynicism with Harvey. No. It's all just, he just wants to win things, make great <laughs> films, you know, have great actors. Yeah. In terms of acting, who, who are your great inspirations? Well, Meryl Streep, obviously, um, and Gina Rowland is a huge inspiration to me when I was, um, and Shirley Theron when I was younger. I remember watching mm. Monster when I was, when I was, I, I think, 13, 14. I think she's I was seriously underrated, Shirley Theron. I interviewed her. I thought she had a real intensity. Yeah, I loved her. Beauty. Interview. Yeah, really fascinating. Yeah, she is a fascinating person and an incredible actress. Mm. I think Kate, Kate Blanchett is amazing. Um, yeah, and I of have the lots men? of, of the men. Um, well, they're, oh God, don't even get me started. 
Can you get past gonna, Bradley's good looks? I was going to, gonna, to yeah. Was, or is it just impossible? It's, but, well, Robert De Niro obviously is is the best. I mean, he's Did he give you any legend. tips? How does it work? I mean, um, sort of not really. he, he, gave me, he gave me tips once of, of, on trying to stand my ground more and, and try to be like, no, I want this. Mm. I think he was, because <laughs> I kind of get a little bit too, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I end up staying in like the days in. <laughs> um, so he's more so like, he, you've got to be ruthless. Yeah, he was, yeah. So he gave me a good, good talk about that. Um, n nothing really with acting, though. It's mostly I've learned from example with him. He's just, he's very calm and, and nice and it just gets it done. Who do you think, though, is, is pound for pound the best actor in the world right now? That's a horrible question to ask a director. And that's like choosing that your favorite baby. But. But, yeah, it's like asking your favorite baby. I can tell you some who I think are fantastic actors. Um, I loved everyone in the cast of The Fighter. I loved uh, Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg. You're talking about actresses and actors? Yeah. Both sexes. Wow, that's a big category. Um, well, in the spirit of that, these characters in the film are my favorite kinds of people, like my son, which is the reason, because they are unfiltered and they cause everyone around them to be less filtered mm. and to be more real. So they go to a dinner party and they're talking frankly about their lives and their medications and everybody at the party is uncomfortable and pretty soon everybody's opening up. His best friend opens up as a result of that. So that's a very refreshing thing. I think that's something we share in common, it's safe to say. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. I can't let this uh, end without asking you to deliver about it. Just this feeling I'm getting that you just have a bit of a thing for the British accent. <laughs> Am I right? Every girl loves a British accent. Isn't that true? <laughs> but I also love England. I mean, London is, is my favorite city. You spent a lot of time there, haven't you? Yeah, I have. We filmed um, X-Men there, so I lived there for about six months. You eat fish and chips and I drink eat pints and of chips. beer. And... Yeah. <laughs> well, look, it's been a complete delight. Thank you for staying and, and giving us uh, a little bit more. It was very gracious of you, and best of luck at the Oscars. Yeah, thank I've you. I've got a feeling you're in for a great night. I think you should be. I think it's an amazing movie, and I think, more importantly, it has such an important mission statement to it. You know, mental health is one of the great issues in America right now, and I think that this is just something everyone should go and see. Uh, thank you both very much. Thank you, Pierce. Thank you. Lovely to see you. And we'll be right back.